Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on IST QB Agile Tester sample paper discussions. We are in chapter 3 while well, talking about Agile testing methods, techniques and tools. And so far we have covered a few of the questions from this particular chapter already. And now we shall look forward to cover some more topics and related questions in this particular tutorial. And that's what we are here for. So let's look forward to some good, great questions coming up next from this particular chapter as well. And then let's look at how to handle them. Well, coming up next, we have a question number 28. And in the test pyramid, which level has the largest number of tests? I think uh, this is going to be very straightforward. If you even remember the image from our tutorial that the test pyramid is uh, basically exactly like a pyramid. So the bottom most part is going to have the maximum number of unit tests because at any level we talk about the early and frequent feedback so the most number of test cases are generally being conducted at the initial level that is unit then we have most of the automated acceptance test and following that a bit of the ui automated test which is related to the system testing and following that we have exploratory testing whereas if you talk about the other side of it which is the traditional models unlike agile the pyramid is upside down that means we do a very little unit test and we spend most of our time working on the uh, other levels like integration will do a bit more system will do a bit more and so on and mostly the tests are manual as well but here it will be more of like in agile it will be more of like automated test so in that context it just totally makes sense that uh, in agile we can't wait till system testing to get the surprises related to auto of the anomalies or uh, the defects what we really have so in that context it certainly you know goes in line with the expectation and the right answer here is unit testing tests are the largest in the agile test pyramid because it's just the pyramid and the bottommost part is the first level that is unit and we look forward to do the maximum there well look at the next question we got question number 29 which testing quadrant is associated with user acceptance test now for this we need to certainly get into the deep dive of understanding each quadrant and if you remember we have a tutorial from chapter 3 which talks about the explanation on each of these four quadrant that q1 q2 q3 q4 just for your kind of information if i have to talk about the q1 is basically concentrating on the unit level and it is technology facing whereas it is mainly supporting the developers q2 is basically driven by the system levels so all the system level tests are basically conducted at the q2 quadrant and uh, this is business facing whereas it confirms the product's behavior when if you talk about the q3 this is the one which is driven by the user acceptance level and basically conducts all the user acceptance test and of course given that it is user acceptance test we have this particular quadrant as business facing and contain tests to critique the product and also the scenarios and data from the real life and uh, if we talk about the quadrant four is basically the system or operational acceptance level test which is of course uh, from the perspective of non-functional testing that means any non-functional levels being conducted would be conducted at q4 and this is totally technology facing and contains the test that critique the product so i think uh, given that we have this good understanding of what exactly these four quadrants are what kind of levels are being organized and conducted we would be able to answer this particular question very well so all you have to remember is like the sequence unit this system then acceptance and then the non-functional which is the operational so even if you remember the sequence of the levels you can answer this question very well you don't really have to memorize or by heart this particular concept so in that context of course put together the right answer here is c quadrant q3 basically covers the user acceptance test which is also business facing and contains the test which critics the product Well, to move on, we have the next question, question number 30. The question number 30 is similar in the same line. It says which quadrant is primarily associated with supporting the developers. And uh, I think developers uh, are generally going to get involved at the unit testing level. And uh, they do conduct a lot of uh, unit tests at this point of time. And uh, certainly 
the majority of like previous discussion when we talk about the quadrants and uh, the pyramid we didn't understand that the majority of the part of the testing in agile is being done is being done at the quadrant one uh, level and of course uh, the lower bottom of the pyramid contains the most number of unit tests which are automated so of course uh, system testing is something which is done by the test engineering team and the acceptance are done by the business so of course unit testing is something what is more relevant for the developer and that certainly keeps it in line and to the expectation of this question as well so which quadrant is primarily associated with supporting the developers the answer is a quadrant q1 is the quadrant which basically conducts all the related to all the unit level tests which is technology facing as well and the level which supports the developer so i think put together this is all what we had from this particular tutorial and i hope you are having really good understanding of this series as well we shall look forward to cover the remaining 10 questions from this batch of this particular set of question paper as well and uh, we would be pretty much done with that so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning